Are you guys ready to eat? Okay, okay, let's wait for the slides. Good afternoon, my name is Uma Valeri. I'm the CEO of Memphis Meats. We're making delicious meats safer, better, and healthier for you, the planet, and the animals. We are a group of health experts, scientists, and culinaries that came together to transform an industry that's badly in need of it. Looking back at the history of meat, man first domesticated wild animals 12,000 years ago, and we, all the animals we eat now have come from that process. And this has led to a global love for meat across the world. Every culture and every country, the majority of people eat meat. In fact, 90% of the world's population eats meat. However, this demand is not sustainable, and the meat industry knows that. There are three main problems with the current meat production techniques. Number one, there's a scarcity of resources. The demand for meat is doubling in the next 30 years, and there's not enough resources to meet the demand. Number two, the health risks with meat are substantial. Did you know that the amount of feces that Americans eat in their meat every day is staggering in their meat? I didn't know that. And if you think about the number of antibiotics that are pumped into animals, this leads to antibiotic resistance and also sets the stage for diseases like the bird flu that we hear about every year or swine flu. And lastly, a very important reason that makes this inherently inefficient for meat, produ meat, meat production as we do it now, because it takes 23 calories of grain to make one calorie of beef. Now, that's not sustainable. Behind these challenges lies the world's greatest opportunity for us. And what we're doing is by starting with growing pork and beef into delicious meats that we're all used to eating, and targeting the 500 billion market opportunity in the US and Europe. This is how it works. We identify the best quality animals, cows and pigs, and we take cells, meat cells, from let's say a pork shoulder or a top sirloin. We identify cells that are capable of self-renewal, and we cultivate them using our Memphis Meats techniques in a clean and safe environment to make meat delicious. And we harvest it if we want tender cuts of meat, we harvest them very early. If we want more texturized meat, we harvest it later. So we've learned that the techniques that we're planning to employ in growing these meat, porks and beef initially, are incredibly efficient. We're going to use three calories of energy input to make one calorie of pork or beef. And also think about it. It takes 12 to 20 months to raise a beef cattle before it's slaughtered for making a meatball, and we made that in two to three weeks. You're looking at the actual beef cells growing on our cell farm. And if you look at these large muscle fibers, they have lots of nuclei in there, and it looks identical to the meat that you'd find from a slaughtered animal. No difference at any level. Now this tells us that we're at a paradigm change in the history of the world. We're calling this the second domestication, because we're domesticating cells to grow meat, and not domesticating animals to slaughter them to make meat. We're also very careful about how our meat can be better than what's available now. Now, bacterial contamination of meat is a serious food safety concern. So what we did last week was our intern walked to the grocery stores, an organic grocery store locally in San Francisco and a conventional grocery store, and we also gave him the pork and beef that we grew at Memphis Meats, and we put them on these plates, these two plates you're seeing behind me. And if you look at the fuzzy lines in the top right and the bottom right, that's pork and beef that we took from the organic store and the conventional store, and those fuzzy lines are bacteria growing within 24 hours. And if you look on the left-hand side, where you see the Memphis meats, pork and beef, there is no bacteria because we're growing it in a pathogen-free environment. And this has significant safety implications. Now let me show you how our meat cooks and how it handles. Here's a chef who came in from LA, a professional chef that came and rolled our meatball and rolled it around in a pan 10 days ago. We heard the meat sizzle and filled the room with the aroma of a great Italian meatball. And we had an independent taster who came by, and her reaction was very candid. It tastes like a meatball. 
all. That's good. That's more. <laughs> yeah, this is good. <laughs> Thank you. At this point, we had to jump and stop her from eating the whole meatball because <laughs> there were many others in the room who wanted a little bite of that meatball. So. <laughs> we're also very cost conscious. We knew that techniques used in academic laboratories cost a significant amount when this burger was grown two years ago by a scientist from the Netherlands. It cost $330,000 for a 100-gram burger. We've already lowered that cost by 100 times and dropping it rapidly. Here's our path to market entry. We are going to use our seed financing to really identify the best quality of cells that can self-renew themselves and also develop the nutrient-rich medium and the food that we feed these cells. Just like a, a, a great beef uh, a steak is grown from a beef that eats the best grass available, we are going to feed our cells also the best plant-based ingredients available and make them grow into meat that we all love. We subsequently are going to use our techniques to scale up to go to production scale so that we can start off with meat chefs who actually know how to cook the meat and make it tasty. And we want to be in restaurants, in some specialty restaurants within three years, and subsequently scale it up based on their feedback so we can be in retail within five years. We've been very fortunate to have incredible coverage from the Wall Street Journal and many other media outlets this week. And we've been humbled, excited, thrilled from the global response for people waiting for the Memphis Meats products. It's a small poll here, but 15,000 people were polled by an independent individual named Sam Harris on Twitter, and 83% of them said they'll absolutely switch to our products if it's identical to meat, and we are making meat. So we also had this video that we released that went viral with about 4 million hits as of this morning, growing by a million every day, and we're just hitting a nerve because the world, I believe, sincerely is ready for reinventing how we eat meat. And so should the meat industry. Here's our team that's going to make this a reality. We are, we are hiring brilliant people with brilliant hearts and minds to really make this their purpose because there is a very big reward here for many reasons. I'm a cardiologist, you met me, and my focus is really to laser focus our team to make it better, safer, and healthier for all of us. My co-founder, Nick Genovese, is an academic skeletal muscle biologist who's dedicated his career to grow meat from cells, and he's our head meat farmer. Uh, we also have a third co-founder who's unique in his own way, Will Clem, a tissue engineer, who also is a third-generation barbecue restaurant owner from Memphis. <laughs> and his family and extended family own 43 barbecue restaurants and he's incredibly excited about handling this meat and can't wait to try his recipes. We also have Morgan, who's a phenomenal food scientist from Davis who can make anything taste edible and great. And I want to have a shout out for David Kay, our marketing intern from Stanford, who's been handling all the media attention we didn't plan for or expect, but very grateful for. We have a phenomenal advisory board with deep science experience, experience in bioreactor development, food formulation, and developing sustainable food policy. So we are delighted that you're all here to witness this amazing event of all our companies talking to you about our dreams. And we're humbled to announce that we've closed our oversubscribed seed round at $2.75 million. And we're looking to talk to anyone who wants to partner with us. You, if you have a deep science background, apply for a job. If you have partnership ideas, call us. And if you're an investor and want to come to Series A, talk to us. Or if you want to sample our products, come and talk to us. You can eat the best quality pork and beef you've ever had in your life. Thank you very much. Thank you.